Nigerian High Commission in Ghana has been destroyed. It is gathered that a businessman in that country claimed that the Nigerian High Commission staff quarters was built on his land. The demolition is said to have been carried out yesterday, although the Nigerian government is yet to react to the incident. The man reportedly showed up last week with evidence to support his claim and began to knock down the fence surrounding the building. The action of the man was not opposed, while the Nigerian High Commission petitioned the Ghanaian government about it, but there was no response. Days later, he was said to have returned to the premises of the staff quarters, and this time with a bulldozer, and began to pull down the building. To the residents of the Nigerian High Commissioner to Ghana, uh, here we find the building that has been put up to house staff of the High Commission uh, has been pulled out. The understanding is that some armed men stormed here with bulldozers and threatened staff of the embassy, uh, and then whilst doing that, they pulled down the building. I would like to speak to uh, some of the personnel who were here and witnessed what happened. Um, Emmanuel Kabuti. I'm in charge of the security at the National High Commission. Okay, tell us what happened. Uh, basically, my boy here that you can see, they called me around 1.30, 1.30, 33, which I arrived here. And upon my arrival, I saw that the building behind me, as you can see, has been demolished. Um, in fact, I consulted the head of chancellor, which he told me they been calling the police to come in. More than an hour, they are not in. Before even me, I was called, but I was here and there was no police. So, not quite long, a team, a section team of the police came in. And when they came by, then the bulldozer is outside. He has finished his work and is outside with the so called leader who is with them. Then, the police, when they came, they did not come to us, they did not go to any other person. They rather went straight to the man. You could see they know him. They had a friendly chat. After talking, exchanging numbers and other things, then they allowed the bulldozer, the excavator, to move. The man also left. And when they came in, they started taking pictures. That's all. They did not ask me anything. They did not ask my boys anything. I understand uh, during all of these things, the men were armed and threatened to shoot. Tell us about that. Yes, the leader has a pistol on him. And you, you can see how I'm dressed. If you put an arm, which is not in, but outside, you can see it clear, which is there. So he was having a pistol beside him, and he said, the word he used was simple. He said, national security, everybody is behind him. So if any of us try, you will clear us off. We are, we are security men. We don't have gun, we don't have anything. What we have to do is to do what? To protect ourselves and then come back. This is not Ghana that alone. We are actually open to our back. Somebody who came with ammunition, gun, precisely what I heard, and he was threatening the security officers, and not anybody that you can say is just a, a, a normal person. He's an uh, intruder. Please. The authorities should not allow this into life. Because we Nigerians will not are going to allow this to go to Scott Free. Sincerely. Uh, if this is going to end the relationship between Nigeria and Ghana, I think we are ready for it. Thank you very much. Our government should not go to sleep with this kind of disgrace. This is not just national disgrace. This is an international disgrace for us. In fact, if Nigeria can be treated like this in Ghana, Ghana that we hold so much in our hearts, Ghana that our government has helped so much, with our, 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 our resources and everything. I don't think that we deserve this kind of treatment. And as I'm talking to you now, since I came here more than two hours, I haven't seen any security put here to, to protect the woman who is our, our, our acting high commissioner. The gate has been pulled down, no security. What would the woman do? I don't know, this, this, this is happening like, it's, it's, it's like a movie, but it is real. And I want our government to do something, to rise up to this occasion. Because we cannot continue to take this insult. If this thing continues like this, we will work, we have, we do, we have a country. Ghanaian High Commission is at the very choice place in Abuja.
The worst part of it is that we have police headquarters here who is just five minutes drive to this place. And this community is a community that is so protected. If there is a whistle here, you get the police running down. This mission, this thing was done for in, in one hour. A good one hour, they were destroying this thing, and there's nobody that comes to protect us. So we Nigerians, we don't feel safe. I have not been to my house. I don't feel safe. I have nowhere to go. If bulldozers can come and pull down our high commission like this, then who am I? They could just take me and kill me on the street or cut my neck. This is how we are feeling right now. And I don't think it's funny. I don't think it's funny because we can't do this to, to Ghana people. God bless you. I don't want to talk more.